Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rosa. How are you tonight? Very good. Okay. <laughs> How was your day today? How um, was your day? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Lot of bar. Okay. <laughs> okay. And how was yesterday? How was your day off? Um, yesterday. I, yesterday. Uh, uh, day, day mother. Mother's Day. Uh huh. <laughs> Mother's Day. I am celebrity my family. And my son and my daughter. Good. It, it sounds Good. so nice. Yeah. yeah. It sounds so nice. So you had a good time. And you, teacher? Uh, well, it was a very good day yesterday. Thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we, we also celebrated here and I have two daughters. So... Oh. Mm -hmm. So they were very, uh, very interested in having me well. Uh, you know, they made some gifts, some hand handcrafts for me, and um, they gave me gifts and they made lunch for me. So it was a very, very good day. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> it was such a good celebration. <laughs> <laughs> good celebration, my mother. Yes, it was great. It was great. Yeah, because at night, um, my husband took me out to have dinner too. So I think we did. Uh, we had a very good day. Yeah, yeah, we spent a very great time celebrating Mother's Day. And I went to visit my mom too. Yeah. Oh. Yes, and also imagine it was really a busy day because I went to the cemetery to visit um, my grandma's. Uh, no, I'm sorry, my not my grandma's. Uh, I couldn't go to my grandma's. Okay. But I went to my my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law. So yeah, I took some offering some flowers, you know. And it was a very good time over there. Yeah, with my husband and my little girls. How is everybody? <laughs> How is everybody doing? Good night, teacher. Are you happy night, tonight? Everybody. Yes, teacher. Yes, today is the last class. Huh? Great, congratulations guys, you finished this module. Can you imagine this is the video conference number 20. So I think you did it great, you did it great. So tonight we are gonna start just making a little feedback. Can you please help me out with that? Can you tell me what were we studying last class? One idea. What were we studying? Uh, the class. The, the oh, last I, class. I, finally, the, the, the class. Though. Yes, today is the, the last class. Yes, today the is last the last class. class. Yes, but uh, do you remember what were we studying? Let me share the screen with you. And uh, let me show you. Okay. Tonight is number 20 class. Okay. So we are going, I'm going to present the objective and then we're going to do a little vocabulary feedback. Then we're going to do our reading comprehension activity. Then we're going to have a conversation time some written activities, and then we're going to uh, fill out the encuesta de satisfacción, okay? Eso va a ser al final de la clase. Así que permanezcamos, por favor, a las nueve y treinta. Nos van a visitar y vamos a estar acá eh, haciéndolo juntos, ¿verdad? Para realizar la encuesta de satisfacción todos al mismo tiempo. Okay, comencemos. Let's start the class. 
with the presentation of the objective for today. The objective for today is that you are going to learn how to use the time clauses. That will be our topic, time clauses, okay? Then, um, let's make a little, let's make a little um, feedback, okay? Do you remember what cash flow is? Do you remember what cash flow is? Yes. What is cash flow? What is the cash flow statement? Report the money. Okay, reports about the money, correct. Uh-huh. So we're saying the money that comes in and comes out, okay? So it means incomes and outcomes. You remember, and also remember that incomes are the when uh, when you collect the money from the public. Okay, when you collect the money from the public for your services or for your products, then you are um, getting or collecting incomes. Then, when you are paying your debts or paying for the raw materials, paying for uh, the the costs of operation or of production, costs of machinery, then that's liabilities, okay? Liabilities. The credits, the bank loans, those are liabilities, okay? The machinery that you already paid, then it becomes assets. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Okay, I'm going to ask, something else. Do you remember what are the stages or the elements into the cash flow statement? Or into the cash flow cycle? Can you tell me? Reports incoming mm -hmm. and upcoming. Correct. Cash it operates investing uh, financial activities. Correct. Financial activities. So it means these activities that you are seeing on your screen. Okay. What are you seeing? Here you have a cycle. It repeats time after time. Okay. Time after time. And these are the operations of any company. So let's see. Let's see here. Let's see, number one, what's number one um, stage of this cycle? What does it say on the screen? Number one? Funding your parts. Excellent, funding your purchases. Funding your purchases. Number two? The stock of and service. Correct. Stock of goods and services. Number three. Funding your sales. Funding your sales. Good. Number four. Receiving your payments. Okay. Receiving your payments. Number five. Managing your cash. Managing your cash. Correct. Number six. Making payments. Correct, making payments. And then it starts again. That's why this is a cycle, okay? Because it starts again. Here, it seems that it finished, but then it restarts and restarts. Those are the financial activities. Those are the financial activities. So let's continue with this. Uh, do you have any question about this vocabulary? <laughs> Do you have questions about this vocabulary? No? Okay, then let me take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance and that was only for giving just a little feedback that we were talking about accounting, but now we are gonna take the attendance. Let's 
relax a little, okay? <laughs> Okay, Tuesday the 11th, and I'm going to take the attendance starting with Angeli Magali Coronado Diaz. Present. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Carlos Ernesto Rogel. Okay. Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Elvia Janet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Okay. Fausto Antonio Landa Verde López. Uh, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. No, Leslie. Oh, okay. María Fernanda Gavidia Guerrero. Present teacher. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Present teacher. Rosa Esperanza Vázquez de Girón. Present teacher. Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, there we are. Okay, let's continue. We were just uh, making just a little feedback about accounting and we were, uh, we were talking about the cash flow cycle, okay? Cash flow cycle, and it has some stages. And the stages were, were this ones. First, you have to look for, have money, for making your purchases, to buy the raw material, to buy your assets, to buy all your production and operation costs. Okay, you have to fund your money. Fund, fund means money, okay? Funding, it means that you have to make the action of get those funds, okay? So funding your purchases, it means that you need money to make your purchases. Stock of goods and services. Uh, it means that I have to produce that product that I am going to sell and I have to have enough products for the demand or for the markets, right? Then I have to fund my, my sales or your sales. Your company has to fund your uh, their sales. What is that? Uh, that they have to get money or have cash for, for example, the services on the showrooms, they sell um, the stores, transportation, logistics. So we have to fund our sales, okay? We need money to do all those operations. Then after we make our sales, then we receive our payments. We receive the money from the public. We, we collect the money, okay? And then we see, we manage our cash. We see, uh, I have to go in, um, I have to see how much did the company earn, okay? Then I have to go and see my payments. What do I have to pay as a company to continue my operations, to continue my operations? And then I start again. I start again, funding our purchase, okay? Now, let's go to see this, okay? Do you remember that on... Um, 
on our manuals, we saw a very important topic, how to connect two sentences, one with a condition and one sentence is the result of that condition. Do you remember we have two words? What, what are those words? If and when. Do you remember that for zero conditional? If and when. Do you remember that? These two words makes the zero condition, okay? Zero condition. So let's read these two sentences. Here we have two sentences and we have a blank that we have to fill with one of those words, okay? So let's see. Many companies buy on credit. Hmm? Huh? They don't when. have enough cash to make the purchase. Okay, let's try with when. Let's write when. I'm sorry. Let's see, let's try when here. When they don't have enough cash to make the purchase. Okay. So it means, it means that this is an adverb that it is connecting this condition, okay? This is the main, main, uh, main sentence or main clause, okay? And then we have the result. Here we have a thing that is going to happen for sure to those companies, okay? They need to buy on credit, when they don't have enough cash to make, to make the purchase. Now, let's think. We said that we can, we can say the fur in the first sentence, the condition. And we can say in the second sentence, the result. Do you remember that? Let's see in this, is the same idea. Here in this box is the same idea. What word is missing? Is missing when or is missing if? Let's see. Mm, they don't have enough cash to make the purchase. Many companies buy on credit. Right? If. 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 We could use if. We could use if. Perfectly. We could do it. Okay? We, we can say if they don't have enough cash to make the purchase, many companies buy on credit, okay? So what are we saying here? We are saying a condition and a result, okay? Or a resultant sentence. We are talking about money here, right? Cash is money. Let's see the other example. Here we have, who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? The first one, teacher? Yes, please. Me, I'm going to read it. If I, if I have financial problem, I feel weakly. Guilty. Spending money. Guilty. Guilty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guilty. Okay. If I have financial problem, I feel guilty spending money in non-essential. In non-essentials, correct. So let's see here. What is this person saying? If I have no money, right? If I have financial problems, I feel oh, guilty spending money and things that I don't need, okay? In non-essentials. Okay, what's the condition? What's the condition to feel guilty? The condition is that we are having financial problems. So if I have financial problems, that's the condition. And then the result is I feel guilty spending money in non-essentials, correct? 
We can do it in a reverse way, okay? We can change the order of the sentences and we can say the result first and then the condition, okay? In this case, who wants to read the second box? Who wants to read the second box? This box. I, I, feel, I feel wealthy is spending money in non-essential when I have financial problems. Okay, okay, good. There are some, there are some times, there are some times that we are going to use either way, if or when, okay? We, uh, and some expressions, it doesn't matter if you use if or if you use when, but sometimes and with practice, you are going to feel which one fits on what you want to say. You have to have present in your mind that you are talking about a condition and a result of what you're saying, okay? So for example, here, everybody please oh, uh, activate your audio and let's read it. If I have financial problems, if, if I, I have, have financial have problems, problems, I feel guilty spending money in non-essentials. I feel, I feel guilty, 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 guilty spending money in non-essentials. Now, number two, it says, I feel guilty spending money in non-essentials. I feel I guilty spending money in non-essentials. Non when I have financial problems. When, when I, I have financial problems. financial problems. Okay. Now, let's continue and let's think about this. Okay, before going there, we are going to our manuals, okay? Let me go to the manual. So now we did our feedback, okay? Remember zero conditional, remember the cash flow cycle, that's what we are talking about. And the cash flow cycle, the, uh, the sales is a very important part, okay? So our client has to fill out a form of a purchase order, okay? Now let's see what does a purchase order contain? What does a purchase order contain? What information can we find in a purchase order? With the name of company or seller. Okay, good, good. Okay, the seller is called vendor here, okay? Vendor. Mm -hmm. And the one who's buying is this, right? Is this, okay? The... It has only the address, okay? It has only the address where this is going to be delivered. It doesn't say the company name in here. I don't see it over there, okay? I don't see the company name. But the company name that is in is selling these products is Builder MT Management Technology, okay? What is the purchase order number? What's the purchase order number? A H zero 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 two zero um dash dash zero one five. Okay, thank you very much. Angeli, what's the purchase order? A H zero 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 two zero uh, Dash, 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 uh-huh. Zero, five, zero, one, five. Okay, good. Thank you, Angeli. Now, let's see, Elvia. Elvia, can you see what are the products that they are buying? What are the products they are buying? Mm -hmm. Frame material. 
Exactly. Frame materials. Frame materials. So these Material. things are those things like edges or that goes around the windows, maybe, right? Around the windows or around the doors. Those are the frames. Okay. And it says for the first floor and for the second, uh, no, uh, I see it. for first floor and for first floor, they have two kinds, right? They have two kinds of frames. Now, yeah, excuse Dani. me. Oh. Tres, tres, mira. Okay, now let's see. Can you see the date there? Can you see the date? The order date? Do you see the order date? September 1, 2017. Okay, let's remember that for dates we say first, okay? September first. the 1st, yes. September the 1st, 2017 or 2017, it's okay. So now let's see, what else, what, what other information ca can we find in the purchase order? What other information? We can find the price, the quantity, how many units, okay? And also we find if our tax is applied, Okay, the taxes, how much are going to be the taxes. And also when it is accepted, it's going to be signed up. Okay, sign out. So let's see. How much is uh, the item, the first item? How much is the first item? How much? Two thousand fifty five point twenty. Okay, let's see. This is these are hundreds, okay? Two hundred, uh huh, two hundred fifty five and twenty cents. Okay, two hundred and fifty five dollars with twenty cents. Correct. Now let's see how much is the second. How much is the second? Can you tell us, Elvia? Can you tell us, Rita? Everybody six, thinking. Six thousand one hundred sixty. Excellent. Dollars. Let's say dollars. dollars. Okay. Even though it doesn't say what's the currency here, we are going to say dollars. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, let's see. Here we have that the responsible of taking these things or installing these things has to sign to, to be approved, okay? To be approved. Now, um, there are other details that they include, but that maybe these are for the company registers, okay? Or the, the company records, like the job number, for example, job number. It means, for example, they are taking the account or the, they are counting, um, the jobs for that vendor, for example, okay? That could be for that vendor only or for the whole company. We don't know the, kind, the, the type of record that they are taking, but let's see that they include that detail, that data. Okay, now everybody, please, everybody. Let's read again, it says, okay, let's read again. And let's identify the following information. What's the information that they want us to see? How many items are they buying? Can you read this question, please? Um, let's see here. Fausto, are you there? Sorry. 
to read items. read number one please uh, sorry how many items are the buying okay how many items and the answer is two items okay thank you fausto everybody agrees Yes. yes, two items. Okay. Now let's see. How much is the total price? Rita? Uh, Six thousand four four hundred fifty and twenty cents. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Is that the total price? Yes. Okay. Here we have to be careful when we pronounce the numbers because if we 15. say, yeah, 15. she said 50, right? Huh? I will say, oh, come on. Are you getting for your lunch or for your candies? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is 415. Okay. We have to be careful with the pronunciation of numbers because it can, um, it can, it can make you a trouble, okay? It can make you a trouble. So let's see. Now we know what's the total price. Everybody, please, let's start with Elvia. Can you please read again the total price? What's the total price? Six. Thousand four hundred fifteen point uh -huh. twenty point twenty cents. Yeah, we, we could say twenty cents. Okay, instead of saying point, we could say, for example, six thousand four hundred and fifteen and 20 cents, okay? And 20 uh, cents, and correct, correct. Do you fill out purchase orders in your job? Not too sure. No. <laughs> no, I don't. No, we don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Leslie? Do you fill out purchase orders in your job? No. No? Do you issue no. purchase orders, Walter? No, no, teacher. No? Okay. Sandra, do you, uh, do you issue purchase orders in your job? No, teacher. Okay. Yeah, I remember you are a teacher, right? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good, good, good. You just say, I need this and this and that, and someone else is in charge of doing it, I think, right? Okay. Now, nobody else. Okay. Then let's go to the next part. Let's go to the next part. And today, our topic is time classes. Time classes. What do you think time classes are? What do you think time classes are? Okay, now let's see. I have something for you here. The time clauses are two sentences together, that they go together, okay? We have a main clause, one main sentence, right? Plus the time clause. So we use these kind of sentences or expressions or phrases when we want to refer or describe something that happened when, when an event was happening at the same time, okay? Or maybe it has to happen one thing 
before the other thing happened. Okay, so these are time clauses. Time clauses requires the time adverbs. Okay, adverbs of time. Let's see the first example that we have in this slide. Okay. Fijémonos en las letras que están en negrita. The bold. Okay. Bold letter. La primera que ustedes ven acá, the first one, it says as soon as, as soon as. As soon as what? Ah, as soon as I take out the loan, we, are, we need that this thing happen for we can continue the purchase process. So it means that I don't have money in this moment, right? So it. They are saying, as soon as I take out the loan, we can continue the purchase order. This is an expression, okay? Tan pronto como, right? As soon as, now, next one, while, while, okay? While last, I'm sorry, while I was talking to the supervisor, his phone rang several times. So it means, for example, I'm going to try to draw a line here, okay? Let me show you this. For example, this line represents the conversation or the time that we are talking to my supervisor. Uh, my supervisor and I were talking. So for example, we start talking here. We start talking here. This is our uh, point of starting. But suddenly we were talking and at the first thing, okay, that I said, boom, the first time that the phone ran. Okay, yo estaba hablando con mi supervisor y de repente, boom. Empieza a sonar el teléfono, right? His phone rang several times. But we continue talking. We continue talking. And again, right? Again. Again, the phone rang. Again, the phone rang, right? So this is when we use, for example, while. While. Okay. O sea que durante toda la conversación, quizás que tuvimos con el supervisor, ese teléfono no dejó de sonar, ¿ok? So, it means while, while. Okay? While I was talking to the supervisor, his phone rang several times. Now, let's see. Here we have. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, I don't understand that you this, 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 this word, why? We can mm -hmm. use this word is a little time or a long time that I was talking with another people. Yes, because you can, it, this word, you can use it in different uh, ways or in different uses. It has different uses. You can use, this is one of the uses, okay? Mm -hmm. This is one of the uses, but yes, you can, you can use it uh, when you want to say in a while, for example. Yeah, in a while, it means that you are going to do something in, few, in a few minutes or maybe in a short period of time. Okay, yeah, you can use that with that meaning too. Mm -hmm. But here with the time clauses, it means that in companion of this sentence, it means that during, during or maybe in the middle of something, something else happened, okay? Something else happens. Now here, next one, it says before, before. This is a very important word because we use it a lot. Before, now, now, before, now, and after, okay? Before and after. So it means that something had to happen short time or a long time uh, when this thing 
hasn't happened yet, okay? So for example, it says, before the meeting starts, all participants have to sign in to the institutional account, okay? Before the meeting starts, all participants have to sign in to the institutional account. Okay, here we used before. The meeting hasn't started yet, okay? Next, we use until, okay? We could say until or until, depending on the, uh, on the sentence, okay? With the flow of the sentence, but for example, here we say the company isn't signing up employees to the English program until they improve their profits. Okay, until they improve their profits, you are going to find this just like till t i l l. But now we are going to learn like this until. Okay, until or until. Now, next one. This is a very good word. Okay. Once. Do you remember what once means? Once. Once. Uh huh. Once. Only. Um, I, I, why? Uh -huh. Let me. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> okay, good. Once upon a time. <laughs> good. Uh -huh. Okay, Wilfredo. Only, only one time? Yes, correct. I mean. Only one time. So, but in this case, it's one time. Okay, one time. So okay. let's read with that with that meaning in our minds. Okay, I expect the company repays once it's sold per company right per company because they this company has to be sold okay to pay their debts maybe they broke or something okay i expect the company repays once it's sold next uh here it it, it can have a different other meaning meanings okay maybe they are selling a shipment a new shipment maybe they diversify the company whatever they have done as this on, on a strategy to start paying again okay paying again so they are going to pay to start paying again once One. it's sold something oh. right it's sold Next one, after, you know this word, you know this word. After so much effort, the company exited the business, okay? Exited the business, the business. Okay, now let's open your audios and we're gonna start saying these sentences, okay? As soon as I take out the loan, as soon as, as, I, soon as I take out, out the loan, out the loan we, can we can continue the purchase. We can continue the purchase process. process. While I was take, talking to my, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. While I was talking to the supervisor, while I was talking to the supervisor, to the supervisor his phone rang several times. His phone ran several times. Okay. Before the meeting starts. Before the meeting starts. All participants have to sign in to the institutional account. All participants have to sign in to the institutional account. Okay. To sign in. Sign in. Sign in. The company isn't signing up employees to the English program. The company isn't signing up English program until they improve their profits. Until they improve their profits. Okay, next one. I expect the company repays once it's sold. I expect the company to pay Okay, after so much effort, the company exited the business. After so much effort, the company exited the business. 
do you have any question about the vocabulary or about the explanation of time clauses? Effort, teacher. Effort, effort, effort. Effort, yes. Effort is so much work, okay? Work after work and looking for strategies and yeah, doing hard work, hard work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. See. Now let's go to the manual, okay? Let's go to the manual and let's read the examples that they are giving us, okay? They are giving us very interesting, interesting um, examples. Can you read uh, number one in the box, please, Sandra? Before you start wearing the purchase order, you have to check every every product. Okay. Before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. Oh, yes. This is very important to use, for example, before and after when we are talking about a process, okay? We are going to do a step step by step, right? So we can talk about the last step or the next step. So we're gonna say the last step is before and the next step and the next step is after, okay? So in this case, we could say, before you start writing the purchase order, ah, so it's a process, right? You have to check every product. You have to check every product. So the first step is to check every product right? This is the first step. And then I'm going to write the purchase order when I am sure what I am going to write, okay? Again, let's read it together. Everybody, before you start writing the purchase order, before you start writing the purchase order, you have to check every product. You have to check every product. Okay, now let's think about the next one. Leslie, can you read next sentence, please? Uh, after the pay, we can start placing the purchase on the truck. On the truck, okay. The so it means they are talking about a process, step by step, right? For example, you cannot take the packages to the truck if they didn't pay, okay? You need the client pay, uh, the client pays, and then you can place the packages on their truck, right? So let's read it together, everyone, please. After they pay. After they pay. After they, they pay. pay. We can start placing the packages on the truck. We, we can, can start can placing the package on the truck. Okay. Next one. Let's see, Francisco, can you read next one, please? Here, teacher. We are authorized to change item until we check the process order. Okay. Process, right? What's the process here? Ah, we need to be authorized. It means the purchase order has to be signed out, okay? By the maybe manager or supervisor or the one in charge of doing uh, the authorization, right? So let's see. Everybody, let's read it together. We are authorized to change items Okay, let's do it together. We are authorized to change items. We are authorized to change items. Until we check the purchase order. Until we check the purchase order. Okay, so it means that if you don't find uh, that, um, or maybe 
they want to change something that they asked for, right? They wrote that on the purchase order. So you cannot change that product if they ask for that, they ordered that product. So it means that until I check the purchase order, then I can, I can authorize this change, okay? Next one. Can you read it please, Wilfredo? The last one, teacher? Yes, please. As soon as we register the order in your system, you can take, you can take it home. Okay, now let's see. What does it mean? Ideas? Is this a process too? It is when, when you got it, some product, uh, you can say another people as as soon as soon as you have it, for example, would you call me please? Oh good, good, excellent. Excellent. That's a very good example. Yes, correct. So as soon as we register the order in our system, you can take it home before you can do it, right? Before you can do it. You can do it after. Just in the time that we register this, then you can take it as soon as, okay? As soon as we register the order in our system, you can take it home. Okay. Any question about this vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? It is, teacher, uh -huh. it is only when we are talking about um, time because the, how do you say titulo in English, teacher? Uh, title, topic? Title, topic. Because the title says how to use time clauses. Oh, yes. Time clauses. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's about time because we are using adverbs of time. Okay. We are locating this event in the line of time. Yes. It's only for time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are many types of clauses. There are many types of clauses, but here we're just seeing some of them, okay? We're just studying or learning some of them. And these are very useful when we talk about processes, okay? Processes, step before the other, okay? Step after the other step. Uh, the, the next action, when I, just in the moment that I finish something, then I start the other. So we are talking about processes with the time clauses. That's what we are learning that here because in our companies, we are doing processes all the time, right? And we need to express this. We need to express things that we do before doing other things or while we are doing other things, okay? So this is the use of this. Now, let's see the activity here. We are going to circle the correct words and we want to compare with the partner. Well, here we are going to do it together, okay? Everybody together. Open your microphones, turn them on or activate your audios and let's start. Which one is the correct phrase? Which one is the correct time adverb? Okay, number one. Can you read number one, please? Um, again, Carla? I, I, before? Uh -huh. Read it, read it completely. Before I get to, to job, I had to take a shower. Okay. What if we say, as soon as I get to job? Before? Okay, yeah, before, before is correct. Before, I was just asking like a joke. Imagine that maybe you are, um, imagine that you are a gym instructor, okay? And maybe, maybe you can take a shower in your job, right? 
But in this case, the usual thing, I don't know. Do you, do you take a shower in your jobs? Do you take a shower on your jobs? Do you? No, right? Usually we don't. No. Okay, then it's correct, Carla. Excellent. Before I get to job, I have to take a shower in my house. Okay, I have to do it in my house. Correct. Number two. Let's see, Elvia. One, you pay for the material, you can start using it. Okay, good, good. Next one, number three. Let's see, Rosa, please. Keep the chain after, before you can know how much the total is. Okay, then this is a process, okay? This is a process and let's see. Do we give the change after or before? Yeah, give the chance. The change. How much the, the, mm -hmm. the rest of the money, yeah. right? What do you think? Yeah. Before. After or before? Before, teacher. Before? After. Are you sure? Okay, everybody who can help me with this? Who, who can help Rosa to understand this sentence? After, you know, after, teacher. Okay, after. Why? Because we need to know how much it is, right? We need to know how much I have, how much um, I need of money to pay, right? So it says, give the change after you know how much the total is, okay? For example, when you call Pizza Hut, right, or any other restaurant, and you are ordering food, and you are ordering, ordering food, and they say, uh, there's gonna be uh, 19.29 or 19.99, okay? And they say, and they say, are you paying with a $20 bill, okay? Are you paying with a 20? So they are asking if they, if you want change for a 20 bill, right? A $20 bill. Ellos le preguntan a uno si usted quiere el vuelto para un billete de 20, right? Or then you say, then you say, if you are going to pay exact or you are going to need some change, okay? But this is a process too. This is a process. Number four, number four. Let's see number four, Edward. All the workers can go. Uh, before they finish their work. Before or until? What do you say, everyone? Until. Until, 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 until. Yeah. Until, but because it means that the workers has to have to finish the activity to go home, right? Or maybe go to a party or whatever they want to go. So yes, they can go until they finish their work. If they don't finish, they can't go. They can't go. Okay, now let's continue. What is this? What is this? What is this? It's a purchase order, okay? This is a purchase order form, okay? And let's read the instruction. It says, complete the following purchase order, then describe to a partner the process of selling a product. Now, we're going to do something first of going there. Before of going there, we are going to have this explanation. One second, because I can't find it. Let me find it first.
Okay, here we have a little conversation and we're going to practice it before of going to the rooms to practice with a partner, okay? Let me go there. And do you see this? It's very interesting. This is the introductory conversation that you are going to have with your partner, okay? Esta es como una conversación introductoria para la actividad que vamos a hacer. You have to fill out the form that you have in the manual. But let's think and let's imagine. This is just a case scenario, okay? Esto solo es un escenario, right? And we're going to say, for example, uh, who wants to be the vendor? And I'm going to be, mm, let's see. Okay, I'm going to read it all the conversation and then we're going to practice it, okay? The vendor, Traders Incorporated, Edward speaking, how can I help you? And then Fausto is in the other side of the line and he says, hello, this is Fausto from Gates of Heaven. When I was filling out the purchase order, the system went down. Can you help me to verify if it is registered in your system, please? Of course, could you get the purchase order number? No, sorry, I couldn't. Would you find it with the company name or try another way? This is introductory, okay? Y la otra parte de la conversación la van a hacer ustedes, okay? You are going to make the conversation with the data that you have in your manuals, con los datos que ustedes tienen en el manual, okay? In your manual, you have to complete this purchase order. And Fausto, poor guy, he's trying to recover that information and to be sure that he did the process correctly, okay? So let's go and practice the first uh, introductory uh, conversation, okay? Everybody, please open your microphones and activate your audios, please. Traders Incorporated, Edward speaking, how can I help you? Traders Inc. Edward, Edward, Edward speaking, how can oh, I help you? Hello, this is Fausto from Gates of Heaven. Hello, Hello. this is Hello. Fausto from, Gates, from of Gates of Heaven. When I was filling out the purchase order, the system went down. When, when, when I, I was filling, filling out, out the purchase, the purchase, purchase order, order, the system, the system went, went down. Went down. Can you help me to verify if it is registered in your system, please? Can you help Can me to verify, verify if it is registered, registered in your system, please? system, please? Of course. Could you get the purchase order number? Of course. Could you get, Could you the, get the purchase order, order number? number? No, sorry, I couldn't. No, no sorry, I, I couldn't. Would you find it with the company name or try another way? Would you find it with the company, the company name, name or another way? another way? Okay, do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Questions? No questions, okay. We are going to go to have this conversation and filling out the form that you have in your manuals with your partner, okay? Todos estamos seguros de lo que vamos a hacer en la actividad? No. Continuar con, con, la, con el diálogo según los datos que tenemos en el manual. Exactly. Van a llenar ese formulario de la purchase order que tienen en el manual. Continuing the conversation that Edward and Fausto are having. Ok. En vez de decir Edward and Fausto, ustedes dicen sus nombres. Ok. You say your own names. Correct. Correct. Ok. There we go. Hoy sí ya estamos seguros de lo que vamos a hacer. Sí. 
Are you sure what we're going to do? That's about this. Me podría volver a explicar, teacher, por favor. Okay. What we are going to do is to fill out the form that we have in the manual, okay? In our manual, we have the purchase order that we are going to complete with our partner, okay? We are going to follow the conversation that we practiced, okay? Siguiendo la conversación que ya iniciamos, ustedes continúan esta conversación para poder llenar la forma del manual, okay? Okay. Good. There we are. Carlos, are you there? Information to, to complete the purchase. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Usted me tiene que company name. Sobre su compañía. Case of uh -huh. having, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, company yes. name. Gates of having. Date. And today is um, 11 May. Okay, fun. Uh -huh. Fun. Um, seven, four, six, seven, four, one, seven. six, eight. Hmm? Can I have your seven, phone number, please? Yes, uh, my phone number is 74674168. Okay, questions and answers, okay? Question, remember a conversation to fill out the purchase order, okay? Okay. Can I have your address? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Yes. My address. And, and how do you say it? Colonia. Mm -hmm. Just say the street name and the number of the local or the house or the building. Wow. Oh. 
address a house number 68, 65. My address house. Six is number mm -hmm. sixty five. Okay. That's the address, Five. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And teacher, in here says vendor. What information do I have to write here? Yours. Yours, because you are the vendor, right? In this case, the vendor was Edward, okay. Traders Inc. Do you remember the Anna. conversation? Yes. Okay. Wow. Traders Inc. Mm -hmm. the name of the, I'm going of the to company. send, yes, I'm going to send the conversation through the chat. Okay. And, and ship to Gates. Exactly. Gates yes. The address for that company. Yes, correct. Okay, tip two. Mm -hmm. uh, Purchase number. So, uh, uh, you don't know the purchase order, do you remember? The vendor is going to provide it when uh, mm -hmm. the vendor finds the purchase order in the system, right? Uh, I have to give him the purchase order, right? Yes, correct. But you can do that at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Um, yes, the purchase order is four, four, one, six, nine, two. Four one six nine two. Four one. Mm -hmm. And okay, guys, I'm going to leave. Keep working. Okay, you are doing a good job. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Here. Excuse me, Cindy. Excuse me, Cindy. Sí. Hello, how is it going? Hello, did, did you finish to, to fill out the form? No, no. I okay. in progress of um complete the information or the order the ¿cómo se llama? I don't yes, know, you tell me. It, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the purchase, yes. purchase okay. order. <laughs> okay, purchase remember order. remember that in the in the conversation he said that he couldn't get the purchase order number, right? So the vendor has to recover that purchase order in the system. Do you remember that? And the conversation. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's mm -hmm. let's make it up. Make it up. Okay. There you go. Okay. Okay. The last participation in the conversation is um no sorry. I couldn't uh -huh. go you find find it with the company name or try another way. Um, in this case, um, the continue the continue, continue the dialogue. 
Continuing with the dialogue. Continuing with the bender. So yeah, okay. Um, bring me the bring me the company name. Okay, so in this case, remember polite expressions. Could you? Ah, could you? Could you? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, could you bring me uh, the could company you... name? Okay. Could you tell me your company name? But he said it already. He said the company name. Go back in the conversation and. And see, Fausto said something. Uh, go to the WhatsApp ah, chat. Okay. 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 And gates okay. of heaven, right? Gates of heaven. Gates of heaven. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, maybe um, the. Um... Tell me your name. Could you tell me your name? Okay. He said he was Fausto, right? Oh, the name, the name, the the name, the chip to. Okay, good, good. The address, the address where this is going to, right? It's going to be shipped. Mm -hmm. Or you can ask, can I have the shipping address, right? Okay. Can I have the the shipping address? So, Rita, say an address. Santo Tomás. Okay, there you go. Saint Thomas. Saint Thomas. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Thomas the Saint. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, keep working. You are doing a good job now. So I'm going to another group. Okay. 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 Bye. Nice to see you. <laughs>
try another way. Okay. Um, Angeli? Hi. Angeli, bye. Uh, usted va a ser Fausto. Charles is Edward is speaking. How can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. I want to go uh, share the the email. The, I'm sorry. Let me see. Okay. I am Fausto. Yes. I am Fausto? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Hello. This is Fausto from Gates of Heaven. When I was filling out the purchase order, the system went down. Can you help me to verify if it is re registered in your system, please? Of course. Call you get the, pro the purchase or the numbers? No, sorry. I couldn't would you find it with the company name or try another way? Para continuar acá la... Tenemos que continuar la, la conversación. Dicho. Yes, you have to continue oh, with the conversation. Yeah, yeah. Here I am, and I was just waiting. <laughs> okay, to continue, remember that in page 46, you have to fill out that form. And let's imagine that you don't have the purchase order to find it in your system. So you have to ask to the client data, information. Let's request information to find this purchase order. Okay, for example, uh, he said with the company name. Oh, yes. The comp what was the company name? What was the company name? Gates of Heaven, right? You are going to look in the system for, uh, so, but you may, you may confirm, okay? You may confirm. You could say, for example, uh, uh, just let me confirm Gates of Heaven is your company name, okay? Gates of, of, of Heaven is your company name. Oh, yes, it is, okay? Then you type it, okay? And then you continue. For example, maybe you write the date, the date, or maybe you look for the shipping address, okay? But request that information. Request with polite questions. Could you give me the shipping address, please? Where this package is going to? Then you fill that out, okay? And so and so, you continue. Then you say, what's the product that you were buying, okay? What's the product? How many or how much of that product, right? Requesting information to fill out the form. Okay. Okay, go ahead. What the products is selling? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The company. What is the product in the purchase order? What is the product in the purchase order? Hey, Maria Fernanda, for example, could answer, or maybe Angeli. Do you have any idea what product? If the company name Whatever. is Gates of Heaven, what do you think do they sell? Gates of Heaven. What do you think? What company is it? What what do they sell or what do they buy? What what do they produce? What is gates? Uh-huh. Gates doors. Doors. Big doors. Mm -hmm. big doors for the entrances for example you open the gates open the gate right
let's imagine what product are they buying? Maybe wood, madera, right? Wood, or maybe they are uh, purchasing nails, clavos, right? Or hammers, <laughs> hammers, martillos, right? Maybe they are buying any other kind of tools, right? Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to another group. Continue, continue. Okay. Use your vocabulary. Okay. Muy bien, chicos, vamos a cambiar a español. Vamos a llenar la encuesta. Nos vamos a, a esa actividad. Por favor, abran en su email el correo que les enviaron con los datos del curso y todo lo que vamos a utilizar. Y también tienen que abrir el formulario de la encuesta. Ok, bueno. Voy a compartirles una pequeña explicación primero, ¿ok? Oh, déjenme llegar ahí. Cuando ustedes abren... ¿Me escuchan bien, chicos? Ok, sí, teacher. lo primero que ustedes van a ver cuando abran la encuesta, cuando le den clic al link, van a encontrar esta presentación al inicio y luego un formulario donde ustedes van a ir llenando diferentes datos que les va pidiendo. En este no nos tenemos que equivocar en ningún guión, no nos tenemos que equivocar en nada. Por lo tanto, el método para poder hacerlo va a ser copiar y pegar, ¿ok? Vamos a copiar y pegar los datos. Bien, déjenme ir a la encuesta para que yo les pueda explicar un poquito. ¿Ok? Cuando ustedes la abren, me va a aparecer así. ¿Ok? Les aparece así, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes dan clic ahí. Entonces, en el email que les enviaron, les enviaron estos datos que les están pidiendo. Por ejemplo, en la número uno dice, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con los guiones y la pleca. En el email está el dato exacto, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es el dato de nuestro curso? Entonces, bueno, yo se lo saqué acá, ¿verdad? Ustedes van, copian esto y lo pegan. 
¿ok? Copian y lo pegan en el espacio. Luego, permítanme, voy a regreso. En el siguiente espacio, su nombre completo tal como está en su DUI, ¿verdad? Tal como aparece en su DUI. El correo electrónico, que no lleve error, ¿verdad? Su correo electrónico con el que usted ingresa a las sesiones. Porque si usted pone otro, definitivamente no va a caer en la casilla correcta. Entonces necesitamos que ponga su correo con el que se inscribió. Luego viene el número de celular, tal comenzando desde 7, ¿verdad? Ok. Luego, pues ahí usted marca femenino o masculino. El departamento de la residencia tiene un lugar de selección. Aquí en la flechita ustedes le dan y aparece su municipio. Entonces ustedes agarran el municipio. Ok, eh, perdón, el departamento estábamos, ¿verdad? Luego el municipio sí lo escriben. Ok, el municipio sí lo escriben. La empresa donde trabaja. En esto es bien importante que tal y como es la razón social de su compañía con la que la, la que lo está enviando acá, ¿verdad? En donde usted trabaja. Eh, no, no solamente el nombre comercial, sino que la razón social, ¿verdad? Luego vemos acá que tenemos otros datos. El nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó es inglés corporativo, pero inglés corporativo tiene un nombre completo. Entonces, la, ustedes solo le dan copiar acá y pegar inglés corporativo y entre paréntesis tiene Regal International SADCB. Entonces, ustedes lo copian todo, ¿verdad? Lo copian y lo pegan allá en aquella casilla. Si no lleva este nombre, tampoco va a caer en la casilla correspondiente y mañana les van a estar hablando y va, se va a atrasar el proceso. Teacher, uh -huh. puede compartirlo en el grupo, lo, el cuadrito, porque yo no encuentro el correo. El email que, que le enviaron. de. Sí. Ok, permítame un momento. Eh, Jason, ¿me puede asesorar acá? Y, y ese, perdón, ese correo lo enviaron el 6 de mayo, perdón. Permítame. Hola, hola, buenas noches. Ok, eh, gracias. Aparte de correo, a todos se les envió un mensaje de WhatsApp. No sé si de casualidad mm -hmm. lo recibieron, porque ahí también pueden tomar los datos. Es que ahí lo estoy buscando en WhatsApp también. No, no, bueno, no sé si estoy choco, no lo veo. Tuvo que haberse les enviado de personal. Ajá. El 5 de mayo lo recibí yo. Vaya, vamos a hacer algo para que se les haga más fácil. Eh, vamos a ver, la teacher le puede compartir dato por dato dentro del grupo de WhatsApp. E inclusive okay. yo le puedo estar apoyando. Ok, Bye. ahí voy. Pero no sé si podrían compartir el link porque a mí tampoco me aparece. Yo no tengo nada en mi correo ni tampoco en mi WhatsApp. ¿El link de la encuesta? Sí, por favor. Ok. Eso no es personalizado, Jason. ¿No? ¿Puedo enviárselo yo desde acá? Sí, sí puede. El enlace es como genérico. Por ok, así ajá, eso es lo que pensé. Okay. Voy entonces a... Voy a dejar de compartir un momento para poder compartirles todo un poquito más rápido, ¿ok? Sí, teacher. Teacher, una pregunta donde dice sí, el nombre sí. del curso. Ahorita le voy a enviar, llama? ahorita no. le voy a enviar todos no. los datos. Ahorita va el primero que sería eh, la orden de inicio, ¿verdad? Solo van a copiar del número 2 hasta el uno final que aparece ahí de solo eso es lo que van a poner luego ahorita voy a enviar el otro dato para que vayamos en orden voy a poner el nombre del proveedor que lo capacitó 
Ustedes van a poner inglés corporativo, riga, entre paréntesis está Regal International SADCB. Ahorita se los pongo para que no se confundan, ¿ok? Vamos. Luego, el otro dato que les voy a pasar es el nombre del curso. El nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante Módulo 4 y va entre comillas, ¿ok? Entonces se los voy a pasar ahorita. Ustedes copian y pegan para que no se pierda ningún dato. Vamos a ver acá. El siguiente sería. Hola, hola, perdón. Sí. Eh, si gusta, Miss, hay que esperar que pongan los datos que ya les compartió y cuando ya todos estén en la misma línea, okay. se van compartiendo los demás para que no vaya a haber como ningún tipo de inconveniente o alguna confusión. Perfecto, gracias. Bien, chicos, vamos bien hasta ahí. ¿Volvemos a comenzar? ¿Sí? Necesito que me vayan favor, diciendo. Teacher, porque algunas... Ajá. Porque algunos nos cuesta encontrar el, el, el correo, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ah, ok. Eh, Ahora voy a. Ya lo hicimos por parte de WhatsApp. Entonces, vamos empezando, entonces, por favor. Ok, ahorita voy a enviar el, el link. El link era lo primero que tenía que haber enviado por María Fernanda. Ahorita voy a, a enviar el link, ¿ok? Yo lo, yo lo envié al grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Lo envió? No sé si... si sí. No sé si de ahí lo copiaron o demás. Lo agarraron de ahí, chicos. Lo hallaron ahí el link. Sí, yo lo, yo lo encontré en el, en el WhatsApp hace Va. poquito. Ahí, ahí, de ahí lo tomé. Vaya, el sí, yo igual. Ok, perfecto. Entonces ya estamos todos en la encuesta. Sí. Un dato bien importante sí. es que si usted se me va adelantando y le pone enviar, le va a aparecer una, una pantalla en donde usted tiene que hacer un screenshot. Así que mejor espéreme y no le dé enviar, ¿ok? Para que no perdamos esa captura de pantalla, ¿ok? Estemos listos. Bueno, vamos a, a ver. Ya todos estamos en encuesta, ¿verdad? Vale. Ya pusimos la orden de inicio, el número de orden de inicio. ¿Ya Yo lo sí pusimos lo puse. todos? Ya lo puse. Ok, Edward ya lo puso. ¿Y los sí. demás? Es lo que termina con 21 orden. Exactamente. Ajá. Delen copiar y pegar para evitar cualquier error. Ok. Uh -huh. Bien, después de la orden de inicio, el otro dato, a ver, vamos todos juntos, su nombre completo, tal como lo tienen en su DUI. ¿Listo? Yes. Su correo electrónico con el que se inscribieron y con el que ingresan a la videoconferencia, ¿verdad? Ese, ese correo. Luego del correo, su número de celular. También el que tiene de contacto, ¿verdad? En el que usted contesta. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí, chicos? Sí. Bien. El otro dato sería el departamento de residencia. Vayan a la selección ahí que tiene la flechita y agarren ustedes el departamento en que ustedes están. Lo seleccionan. Ok. Ok, luego el municipio, ese sí lo tienen que escribir, ¿verdad? Luego la empresa donde usted trabaja, ¿ya escribimos el municipio? Ya. ¿Sí? El yes. nombre de la empresa sí. donde usted trabaja. ¿Alguien tiene dificultad con eso? ¿Con la razón social de su compañía? ¿O estamos bien? 
¿Estamos bien? Continuamos. Bueno. Luego dice el nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Ahí en el chat les envié el nombre de inglés corporativo. Sí. Aparece también una lista desplegable en esa sección. Exactamente. Y ahí aparece la compañía de inglés corporativo. Ok, perfecto. Seleccionar. Perfecto. Gracias, Carlos. Sí. Ahí les puse que tienen que seleccionar el que dice Regal International. ¿Todo bien? <coughs> Vamos sí, al teacher. número 10. El número 10 dice el nombre del curso. El nombre del curso es el que les acabo de enviar, el último dato que yo les envié, que es módulo 4, perdón, módulo, inglés principiante módulo 4, ¿ok? Delen copiar y pegar para que, para que llegue cabal. Incluyendo las comillas, ¿verdad? Sí, así como está. Ok, de acuerdo. Ponemos también las comillas, dicho. Sí, así como está. Okay. ok. Luego ya ustedes van a hacer su valoración del curso, ¿verdad? Ahí están los conceptos y está su calificación. Están entendibles, no, no hay mayor explicación ahí. Solo hacen clic y en el círculo que ustedes elijan, ¿verdad? Fecha de qué fecha iniciamos, no recuerdo. La fecha en que iniciamos el curso, ya les voy a, se las voy a mandar así también para que no tengan problema, fue el 13 de abril. Ok, pero se los voy a mandar para que copien y peguen. Ok, así. Ahí está. Y les voy a enviar la de finalización. La de finalización es este día, 11 de mayo, ¿verdad? Al, al poner la fecha como usted le envió da un error inválido, creo que es de oh, seleccionarla sí. Tiene razón. En, según ser. el calendario. Exactamente, sí. 13 de Exacta abril. Sí, eh, acuérdense que primero el día, luego el mes y después el año, ¿verdad? Day, no. month, and year. No, aquí es primero el mes, después el día y por último el año al seleccionarla, dicho. Y aquí el no, formato se lo está pidiendo así. Con solo seleccionar el, el mes. Exactamente, el usted de... selecciona el 11, ahí realizo. está, ok. Yo selecciono el día. Ok, póngale clic en el, en el 11, en el ¿verdad? Fecha, ¿no? Ajá, Ajá. cabal en el 11, en el cuadrito azul que les aparece, ahí le dan. Cabal. Sí, che, uh -huh. eh, yo acá, dice valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. ¿Cómo considera el tiempo empleado para desarrollar el curso? Pero cuando yo le doy clic para que me despliegue las opciones, no me aparece nada. Solamente tiene que darle... Solo tiene que darle clic en el círculo. No me aparece la opción de... de no me aparecen esos círculos para, para poner mi calificación. No le aparece insuficiente, deficiente, aceptable, bueno y excelente. No, no, nada de eso. Ah, está en un teléfono o está en la computadora. Sí, está en mi teléfono. 
Ah, por ahí viene el detalle, por eso teníamos que hacer lo mejor de la compu, pero yo creo que por esa pero, razón ha de ser, porque no, no lo caso, despliega de esa manera. El teléfono sí me funciona. Sí, no, aparece pero, una, una Silvia, flechita a la par. Silvia, en el teléfono ajá, aparece una flechita. Aparece una flechita. Y flechita. Que sí, le doy clic a esa flechita, pero no, no me aparece nada. Esa, pero, cuando uno le da, aparece. Yo ya, ya lo mandé, pero mira aquí. Ya. No se ve bien. Pero sí aparece una flechita y ahí aparecen todos los insuficientes, deficientes, aceptables, buenos y excelentes. Sí, la y flechita me aparece, pero no me despliega la, las opciones. Mm. Intentar volverle a dar. Ni haciéndole ahí, scroll down, ni haciéndole usted para abajo. Así, para subir un poco la pantalla, probablemente pero, no, le, no le alcanza a aparecer. Como no le ha dado, pero igual tendría que volver a empezar. No se me ocurre cómo ayudarle con eso, Silvita. A ver, permítame. Sí, la única manera en lo que yo pienso que vuelva a entrar a la encuesta. Intente okay. también no colocando el teléfono de manera horizontal. Habilita la opción y se le va como a expandir más las opciones de la encuesta. Voy a intentar con eso. Ajá. Gracias, okay. Jason. Sí, ahora me aparece. Ok. Gracias, gracias, Jason. Gracias, Jason. gracias. Sí. ¿Vamos bien hasta dónde vamos? Chicos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok. La fecha de inicio, la fecha en que finaliza el curso, luego su nivel de satisfacción, qué otros cursos son de su interés, también usted hace el typing ahí. Y luego sus comentarios, ¿verdad? Ahí usted es libre de poner lo que usted tenga que decir acerca del curso, ¿verdad? Y luego, cuando le den enviar, ya le dieron enviar. ¿Quién le dio enviar? El que le haya yo, dado enviar. Yo, yo te vaya, cuando les aparece la, le dio el screenshot, tomó la foto de yes. eso. Ok, ahora sí. necesito que ese screenshot me lo envíe, por favor, al grupo. Ya okay. envié al grupo ahí con mi nombre. Ok, viene Fausto. Veo uno que mandaron ahí que no tiene el nombre. Ok, vamos a ver. Walter ya envió. Sandra ya envió. Sí, hay uno que no tiene nombre. Sí, ponga, vea. Vea es Sandra, ¿verdad? No, 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 Rita. Rita. Pero es que, okay. Ajá, pero es que como todo el mundo me dice Beatriz. Ok. Uh, le vamos a poner aquí, lo voy a, a reenviar yo aquí. O hágame favor, Rita. Sí. Dele reenviar y me le pone su nombre completo, okay. porfa. Okay. Ajá. Fausto, muy bien. Edward, perfecto. Leslie, quiere decir que son, somos 17 alumnos. 16. 16. Ok. Solamente un detalle, comentarles a todos que las encuestas van a ser auditadas directamente por Insafor. En caso hay algún detalle con su encuesta, ellos nos van a notificar y en el momento se les va a hacer saber a ustedes en el caso se requiera algún cambio y que la vuelvan a realizar. Bien chicos, tomemos nota de eso, que esperemos que todos lo hayan hecho correctamente. Eh, ahí tenemos la, los screenshots, ¿verdad?, pero tampoco el screenshot es eh, 
prueba para nosotros como inglés corporativo de que lo han hecho bien. Entonces, como lo revisa en SAFOR, ellos lo reciben y si algo no cae o no cuadra ahí en los datos, lo van a estar contactando para poder corregir esa situación o volver a hacerla, ¿verdad? Correcto, chicos. Quiero revisar nada más, a ver quién no me lo ha enviado. Vamos a ver, tienen que ser 16 los que hayan mandado. Vamos a empezar a contar. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece. Me faltan tres, chicos. Catorce, me faltan dos. Ok, Carlos Antonio, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Que tenemos que cuadrar esto de una vez, chicos, porque después ya no vamos a tener el tiempo de hacerlo porque ya no van a estar ustedes presentes. Ok, vamos a ver. Sería, ya envió Carlos Antonio, Carlos. Perfecto, Elvia, gracias. Creo que ese, con ese finalizamos, pero revisemos nuevamente. Elvia, Carlos, Carlos, María Fernanda. Silvia, Angeli, Francisco, Rita, Leslie, Edward, Fausto, Sandra, Walter. Ok, ¿a quién no mencioné? Todos, ¿verdad? Todos. ¿Mm? A Rosa creo que no la mencioné. Rosa. O sea, la acaba de enviar, acaba pero de... como que no le puso nombre, creo yo. Ahorita voy a ver de regreso porque me falta si sí, uno. Sí, Rosa, ajá, acaba. Lo voy a reenviar con el nombre de ella. No, mejor que me lo envíe ella con su nombre. Rosa. Rosa. Yo le voy a poner el nombre, teacher. Porfa, hágale reenviar y le pone su nombre completo. Gracias. Ok. Bien, yo creo que hemos finalizado el periodo, el tiempo de la encuesta. Muchas gracias, Jason, por el apoyo. Un gusto. Igual, este, como les comentaba anteriormente, vamos a estar pendientes. Cualquier detalle que tengan, igual se pueden comunicar con cualquiera de nuestra administración para poder apoyarles. Ok. Ok, bye Jason. Entonces, continuamos entonces con estos cinco minutos de la clasecita y luego recuerden que tenemos la asesoría para el último de la clase. Pero el último de la clase, de la lista, no está. ¿Verdad? Porque pues lastimosamente abandonó antes de empezar, entonces, tengo libre el espacio. I have this time for the one who wants uh, any assessment. Alguien que quiera quedarse los 10 minutos para um, al, la asesoría, ¿verdad? Y necesito, por favor, chicos, decirles encarecidamente, ahora al finalizar la clase, yo comienzo mis reportes de finalización de curso si no me aparece su nota completa digamos su 100 en el, en, en, por ejemplo en homework 4 eh, me están apareciendo de que solo han hecho no lo han hecho la de este día ¿verdad? entonces por favor hay que hacer la de este día los que no la han hecho y tienen por favor que hacer el examen final lo más pronto posible es decir el día de hoy ¿Verdad? Para que mañana a las 8 de la mañana yo no tenga traba y puedan decir, ok, Edward aprobó, Carlos aprobó, Rosa aprobó. Si no me van a decir lo contrario y yo me voy a poner a llorar, ¿verdad? Oh. Entonces no puede ser. <risa> no puede ser, ¿verdad? Nadie se me tiene que quedar aquí. 
todos, por favor, en la plataforma y alguna duda que tengan, sí, díganme, aunque yo no conteste en el momento, luego yo reviso en la computadora algún dato, por ejemplo, eso de, como ya le habían contestado a Walter, ¿verdad? Ya no les dije yo más, pero siempre en la plataforma hay que tener cuidado de las, de las eh, ¿cómo se llama? Mayúsculas, en español, eh, las mayúsculas, las comas, ¿verdad? Los puntos finales, eh, la mayoría, por ejemplo, esa que, que tenían problema no llevaba las comas, ¿verdad? Entonces también eso les afectaba a la hora de que lo, lo computara, ¿verdad? Lo, les diera los puntos, les daba error. Entonces, por favor, tengamos ese cuidado. ¿Alguna pregunta de lo de las tareas, chicos? Este es el momento. ¿Algún? ¿Sí? Es el caso de la tarea número 15, ¿verdad? ¿Solo será esa o es que en todas hay que llevar ese control? No, solo donde hay oración completa. Ok. Donde hay oración completa y en la que están las do dos oraciones, porque acuérdense que Time Clauses tiene dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Sí. El Zero Conditional tiene dos oraciones. Entonces, ahí es donde tienen que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? Okay, uh -huh. Muchas gracias. Ok. Teacher, en el Zero Condition uh -huh. tengo problemas, pero creo que es por la neg lo negativo. ¿Por lo eh, negativo en, en qué? Eh, al contestarla, lleva apóstrofe. Sí, es, es este contraction, sí. Es contraction. Es más, en, hoy si no revisé, fíjense si agarra las dos. Si agarra, porque agarra, agarra contracción y agarra sin contracción. Hoy no revisé si agarra las dos. Pruebe de las dos maneras. Ah, okay. Ajá, pruebe de las dos maneras porque... No, ahorita en este instante no recuerdo, pero yo les puedo confirmar después de la clase... Me voy a meter bien, bien, si, si solo, solo contracción o solo entero. Pero le aseguro que es la contracción, porque así ha funcionado antes. Ajá. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿No preguntas? La pregunta ¿Alguien? número tres de la tarea 19. Ajá. Yo le pongo if logic. Ajá. No, de... Chicos, no, y no entraron a la discusión, ¿verdad? Espérenme, ahorita voy, Rita, lo estoy cargando para poder verlo. A ver, en la 19, employees, a ver, permítanme. No carga. Ok, la 19, ajá, ¿cuál era el problema ahí? Vamos a ver. ¿En cuál, ma? En el <coughs> número 3, if employees. Ajá. Pero no, ay, no se puede con, contratar not it. Lo, ¿Cómo lo pongo? Not it. Don't. Don't. Don't, don't uh -huh. eat. Ah, okay. Don't eat. Thank Acuérdense que es plural y utilizamos do o das para hacer el negativo en presente simple, ¿verdad? Entonces, don't. Don't eat well. Y la otra parte, not be, ¿cuál sería, chicos? Not be en negativo. Hey, aren't. Aren't. Correct. Aren't. aren't. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? A ver, Elvia me, me decía. Uh, sí, la verdad que le va a agarrar contracción. La con Ay, qué raro sonó lo que dije. Son nueve veces. It sounds like. Oh my God, sorry, Elvia. Le va a aceptar, le va a aceptar el negativo usando contracciones. Oh my gosh. It sounds like a baby is coming. <laughs> okay, good. Ay, ustedes están chistosos. <laughs> you are so funny, guys. 
<laughs> Any other question? No questions? Híjole, este es nuestro último minuto. And... Another teacher. <laughs> okay, just uh, last opportunity, last chance. This is the last chance. Any other question? No questions? Yes, questions? No more questions. Okay. Now, is there anyone who wants to stay for assessment 10 more minutes after this class? After the, the class is over, is there anyone interested in staying with me to solve any question, any doubt? No? <sighs> okay. Okay, no problem. Then, guys, de veras les agradezco mucho toda su atención. He disfrutado mucho con ustedes. Espero que ustedes hayan aprendido, uh, hayan aprovechado al máximo todo lo que hemos aprendido en este curso. Son bastantes temas muy importantes, ¿verdad? Que van a ir desarrollando solo con la práctica. ¿Ok? No se detengan, no se detengan. Que ahorita, ay, el próximo, ay, que no se les bajen los ánimos. ¿Ok? Please, keep up. Ok, keep up. No se detenga. Ok, bueno. Okay. Then these are my last words for this module. And time is over. So everybody have a good night. Gracias, teacher, por su dinamismo, por su sonrisa. Mucho gusto a todos. Ojalá nos veamos pronto. Nos veamos pronto. Gracias. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Good night. Okay. Good night. 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 Good Vamos a quedar campeón, ya no lo vamos a ver, pero vamos a quedar campeón. La pirraya, la pirraya para el mundo. Ahí está. Eso. No está, no está fácil dejar a, a lo. No, no se quieren ir campeones. porque la van a extrañar, Ticho. Yes, that's what I think. That's what I Tal think. O sea que usted no, Carla. Ah, oiga, ah, tío, mire, ya no la va a extrañar. Ajá, 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 la van, la yeah. van, ajá. Todos, por eso no me da Okay, yeah, Carla, I'm going to miss you too. I'm going to miss you too. Miss you all of you, okay? Miss all of you. Okay, bye, Quincy. Okay, bye. 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 Have a good night. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you so much, teacher. My pleasure, Walter. Teacher, yo le quería preguntar algo. Ok, tell me. ¿Se quiere quedar a la asesoría? Sí. Ok, ok, no problem. I, we can say. Ok, there we are, Angeli. Eh, vaya, es que fíjese que en mi caso ya ahorita no voy a poder continuar eh, porque voy a estar de maternidad. Oh. Y, todo el curso y no nos dimos cuenta. Oh my God. Felicidades. Congratulations. Y qué buen tiempo al Día de la Madre. Oh, congratulations, Angeli. Mm, it sounds so good. Okay, then. So you are going, uh, uh -huh. you have a maternity license. Uh -huh. No, sí, no. Eh, cuatro meses, entonces no, voy, no creo poder, la verdad, y por eso ya no, no, no pedí que me inscribieran. Uh -huh. Y quería preguntar, o sea, después, no sé si van a haber al, eh, otros eh, horarios o no sé. Eh, por el momento no le puedo yo dar esa información, pero sí, con todo gusto, usted llame a administración, busque a, a Elena o a Gabriela. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y ellas con todo gusto le van a le van a indicar qué hacer porque también le pueden dar algún tip acerca del tiempo de maternidad, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. 
cómo pueden hacer o algo. Entonces, eh, porque lo normal es que si usted deja de, de, de inscribirse, pues tiene que hacer un examen de nivelación para ubicarla, ¿verdad? Porque no uh -huh. se puede solo poner en el mismo porque va a ir a quedar sin perdida, sí. un poco perdida nuevamente porque ha dejado de practicar. Pero este, yo le sugiero que hable administración y ahí con todo gusto le van a decir, yo voy a pasar el dato también para que estén pendientes de usted, okay. de su caso, para ver cómo le pueden ayudar y cómo la pueden ubicar. Um, bye. Está bien, entonces. Okay, Angeli, mucho gusto. Gracias, igualmente, okay. un gusto, feliz noche. Okay. Okay. Good night, bye. Bye.